Assalamu alaikum. This is Abdurrahman, a student of King Faisal University. We are in part 4 of a series of lessons in C Sharp and MongoDB. In this lesson, we will learn how to implement a social media post and how comments from users are added to it. We will again use MongoDB and Visual Studio's WinForm. My orientation has always been on relational database and I always wondered how does Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and other social media platforms are saving their data. In this video, we will show one possible way. We will focus on how comments are added on a document. In this activity, we will have users and posts from one of them. These users can then comment on the post. We will use data grid view to show the users. Text boxes to identify the users and write the comment and list boxes to display the post and comments. To start, open MongoDB and use Social Media DB. It is a new database. I create a collection called Users. Insert the three documents with names of Abdullah. Ahmed and Ali. I create a collection called Posts. Insert a post posted by user Abdullah. Make sure to copy the ID of Abdullah and paste it in your insert statement. Let the message be KFUCCSIT is cool. Let the comments be an array of a structure with only one initial element where the user is Ahmed, identified by his ID. And the comment is, I agree. Go back to Visual Studio and create a new project named WF underscore Mongo underscore 2. Add MongoDB driver by right clicking references and clicking manage new git packages. Click browse tab and search for MongoDB. Select MongoDB driver and install it. Click OK. I accept. Let's design our form by adding data grid view. Uncheck adding, editing and deleting. Add two labels and dex boxes. Add a button. It changed the text properties to user ID. Comment. And add comment. Copy another label and text box for the one who posted. Copy two more labels. It changed the text property to posted by post and comments. Add two list boxes. I create social media user class with ID and name as attributes. I create social media posts in class attributes of object ID ID object 
object id posted by string message add list of user comment class which we will define after this line let's define user comment class with attributes of object id comment user and the string comment comment Let's create a constructor. Show the code for form1 or double click form1.ts. Create a global static variables for Mongo client object. I Mongo database object. iMongo a collection of social media user class and another iMongo collection of social media posts. current post id will be used to identify the current post in this example we will only have one post create read all users method that will place in a list our collection users copy to a list the collection Assign our list to that grid view. Create read all posts method that will place and list our collection posts. Clear list box one. Copy the collection to a list. A place each post in list box one. But remember that in this example we only have one post. Display the user who made the post to text box. Display the message in list box one.
Blijf de comments en alles. Display the user who made the comment. Display the user's comment. Inside form one's constructor, call the two methods read all users and read all posts. Go back to form designer and select data grid view. Go to its events and double click select click. We will assign whatever row is clicked to our text boxes on the right. Go back again to the designer and double click add comment button. Create an object of user comment based on the values of text boxes 1 and 2. Using Builders, define update definition for the new comment by adding it to the set. Update our post. Run it. I click each row in the data grid view and notice how they change the text boxes. Select user Ali and add comment. That's true. Click add button. Select user Abdullah and add comment. Thank you for your comments. Click add button. You may do it several times. Let's go back to MongoDB and see if our collection posts was updated. It was. Well done for your challenge. Try adding another data grid view for the posts so that all posts can be seen. In our next lesson, we will use CROD operations in MongoDB using Windows Presentation Foundation. Thank you for spending your time in this channel.